Hey guys, I did a unboxing video on my uh, new Converse All Stars back in March of 2018. This is about 11 months later, and just going to do an updated video on how they're holding up. So I've worn these probably a couple dozen times since I've had them. Uh, I typically don't wear them in the uh, snow or rain, mostly on just nice days. The uh, soles are holding up really good. There's uh, little to no wear on them. I haven't had any issues with the uh, shoelaces so far. I have cleaned the uh, white part on the soles one time because they do have a tendency to uh, get stained a little brown or uh, light beige. The uh, canvas on the outside is held up really well without issues. A little bit of dirt on this side. So this is a uh, shot of the inside of the uh, tongue that has all the information on the uh, sneakers. Again, it's a size 10. These typically run uh, one to two sizes com different compared to the other shoes. Uh, typically I wear an 11 and a half and this is a size 10. It is a little snug but they don't come in half sizes. If you notice right, right there where it says 16, 10. What that means is these shoes were actually manufactured in October of 2016. Again, these were purchased new in March of 2018. So they sat in a warehouse or whatnot for almost a year and a quarter, year and a half. Now here's the big issue with the sneakers. As you can see on the back part of the shoe on the inside, all the canvas is worn. And this here is almost like a rubber like a soft rubber and again I've probably only worn these shoes uh, a couple dozen times at the very most and they're completely uh, worn out in the back the inside of the soles is holding up um, what I did is I con contacted Converse in regards to the uh, back of the uh, shoes falling apart on the inside and what they told me is the shoes are warrantied for two years and I didn't have the receipt, so they looked at the again the date on the inside of the sole, which says October of 2016. So what they're telling me is that these shoes are no longer covered under warranty without the receipt. Uh, again, not many people keep receipts for a year for a pair of sneakers, which I informed them of that. And again, I took lots of pictures. And... Uh, Without a receipt, they won't cover the warranty even though they were bought new in March of 2018. So, i got to admit I was quite disappointed. I'm a huge advocate. I love these shoes. And I love the style of them. Again, I was really disappointed on the uh, customer service. I can understand why they do want a receipt. However, again, they were purchased about 11 months ago. And they won't cover them because of the uh, date on the soles. So... Just something you may want to look into if you do end up buying a pair of Converse. Look at the date on the inside of the soles. Uh, if it's a uh, quite dull date, think about that when you uh, go to uh, have any issues covered under their uh, warranty. Which, uh, again, they won't cover. So I'm going to do my best to uh, see if we can track down the receipt. However, I doubt I'll be able to. Which is unfortunate because even though... The canvas doesn't offer a lot of protection in the uh, back. It is uh, fairly uncomfortable because I find your foot bumps up against uh, the uh, torn canvas and it's just uh, annoying and irritating. Again, you can see how bad that one there is. Anyways guys, just a quick update video. Again, I did an unboxing video on these in uh, March of 2018, so I wanted to do roughly a year review on the uh, sneakers of ownership. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. If not, take care. Thanks for watching.